Hey everybody, what's up? Packstack Gaming here. We're working on an achievement, and the achievement is called Star of the Show. So this achievement is for remaining in the searchlight of a KPA airship for two minutes without dying. And it is relatively difficult. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure I have plenty of Molotov cocktails uh, just to kind of give myself a little bit of defense, because what's going to end up happening is I'm going to set up... Um, uh, just a little a, a little section for myself um, I'm, I'm gonna hunker down and make sure that I have plenty of health too so that's what I'm doing here as well so you're gonna want health and Molotov cocktails the other thing you can do is you can actually recruit allies and you can recruit up to three people uh, to come assist you so that's what I'm doing here you're gonna walk up to these guys and it's X on the Xbox pad and square on the PlayStation 4. So once I have enough people, they're on your map there, they're viewed as shields. So they're they're helping assist you, guard you, whatever. Um, if you find one of these little flying helicopter things, uh, drones, that's not the airship, obviously. But if you allow it to scan you long enough, what I've found, I don't know if it's just coincidence, but eventually one of your allies will say there's an airship inbound. So I, I think um, causing enough ruckus will cause that thing that's over in the air. Uh, there, It doesn't look like there's any closer, so that's the only one that I see. Um, that airship is going to start to come this direction. So uh, once it gets near you, it's going to, if you can see, it has the green light beam dropping down from it like it's scanning the area once it gets over ahead of you it's going to turn red and i think that drone there was scanning me long enough for that airship to kind of like you know make its way over towards me again i don't know if that's necessarily the case but that's a couple of times already that that's happened to me so i, I took it as kind of like definitive proof but this airship's coming over and i'm gonna run into the red so that's when the clock starts. Uh, the clock is going to start two minutes and counting once you actually enter this little red beam here. And um, it, it's, it's going to be signified with kind of like a targeting sound. And all of these enemies are going to start to swarm in on you. And this is where I, I just hunkered down. Um, I think at this point I only had two people left to guard me and then this person actually dies pretty quickly too So I only have one guy to assist me the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to just chuck out my my cocktails and Make sure that I'm I, I You know develop kind of a barrier if you will and I just have to I have to create a barrier long enough to get me to two minutes because there's really nothing else you can do. The enemies are just going to continue to come. You just want to get to that two minute mark. So that's buying me a lot of time and all of the health that I have stored away is going to buy me even more time. And it, this does get relatively difficult, especially because uh, enemies have the capability of surrounding you from all sides. So you do want to make sure that you're being careful with that as well. There's a part of this achievement that I actually... I have some pipe bombs too that I just got, so I'm going to throw a couple of those out. There was a part of this achievement where I actually ran out of ammo, so I had to uh, just... I, I had to take a shot, take a chance, and run out there and try to gain some more ammunition because there was no way I was going to make it without the ammo. Uh, and the only way you can gain ammo without going to an ammo box inside your, your own base area is to go over to the dude laying on the ground there and pick up his ammo and try to get back as fast as possible without getting struck down by all the enemies surrounding you. Also, I was actually lucky enough not to have one of those armored vehicles with the machine guns on top come through. I think it's because I'm kind of tucked away in a back alley here. I also read something where some dude said that he got this achievement relatively easy by going to the top of a rooftop where you could only get to it through uh, by crossing a pipe area. So you have to cross this pipe to get to the rooftop of another building. And there's the achievement. So two minutes, uh, you know, it goes by what seems like an eternity while you're in game. But it's not very long at all. Two minutes without dying. And now the trick is to 
to kind of escape from the radar of the airship. So the thing will follow you around as long as you're within viewable distance of this thing. But all you have to do is go inside a building and then he can't see you anymore and come out of the building outside of that red circle. And that's it. Um, hopefully this helps you guys out. Make sure you subscribe to Packstag Gaming and we got more videos coming from Homefront. Also, Overwatch comes out next week, so we'll be picking that up as well. And I think I'm going to play Ninja Turtles, too. That comes out on, on Tuesday. So I'm going to see what Ninja Turtles is about. Um, other than that, yep, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, check out my other videos. More to come from Homefront. I know I already said that, but uh, that still stands true. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I actually... <laughs> this was, this was kind of funny. I... I rolled up on some dudes and I was completely out of ammo, so I took them all out with knives. I don't. That dude's uh, glitched up on top of something, but then he fell down. And then he actually glitches again. I slam him up against this car door, and he ends up going through the car and just laying down in the front seat. <laughs> Yeah, it's this dude here, and I just like throw him into the car. <laughs> this game's pretty cool though, uh, you know, shout out or whatever if you guys are interested in playing multiplayer or something, just let me know. I'm playing it on Xbox, so, um, thanks for watching guys, catch you next time.